Hey guys, my name is Alex Kong and I'm an artist with 17 years of experience in the animation industry. During my career, I've specialized mostly in the areas of animation, layout and previews, working for amazing studios like Sony Imageworks, Animal Logic, Squeeze Animation and many more on animated shows, movies and AAA games. Throughout these years, the software that I have used the most has been Maya and Motion Builder. However, for the last two years, I have been taking the leap to become a more rounded 3D artist thanks to the Reolution pipeline with Unreal. Thanks to this pipeline, when H Agency approached me with an ambitious and highly complex project to promote the metaverse experience that they did for Tequila Cuervo, I saw that it required meeting a strict deadline of just one month. Yet I did not hesitate to accept it. Well, uh, maybe a little bit, but I was sure that by using Reolution tools, it would be possible to do it successfully. Before mastering these tools, I would have never dared to accept a project like this, since it required the creation of numerous characters, crowds, a lot of animation, and considerable rendering time. However, thanks to the character creator tool supported by the incredible assets that I found in the Reolution marketplace, I was able to create more than 25 high quality characters in a record time of just one week. This process alone would have taken months with the traditional work process and it would have made the project impossible due to budget constraints. Once the characters were ready, I started to lay out the project and also give life to the characters using the extensive Actor Core library for the body, which truly has a pack for any purpose you might need and the digital soul pack to animate the face of background characters with a simple drag and drop which was super useful. With these two, I was able to solve most of the background animations. However, it was very useful that now iClonate is also easily compatible with the also quite extensive and free Mixamos library mocha. You just pull the clip to any character and done. No complex retargeting is required. Another impressive advantage of this software was its motion director tool with which I was able to animate a large number of characters just like playing a video game. You just drive them with an Xbox controller, record the movements, and it's done. This project also had the complexity that the terrain was uneven. But fortunately, Motion Director has terrain detection, which made it super easy. And in any other 3D software, this would have been a greater challenge to set. Also with Motion Director, I was able to make crowd animations simply duplicating low resolution characters, placing them, clicking in the center of the location and everyone magically walked where I wanted. All following the uneven terrain, again really cool and simple to set up. Then for the characters that required more complex actions, I jumped into the accent suit and performed the actions, sent the clips to iClone and since again, iClone has a direct connection to the Accents mockup, it did not require any complex retargeting. Plug and play, done. And editing the mockup with iClone, it's a breeze. Having used Motion Builder for professional AAA projects, I can tell you that even though there are a few things that I wish iClone had, the incredible set of tools that iClone has really makes the mockup editing process in iClone extremely powerful. Just as Motion Builder, iClone can blend clips, align them, loop, extend or contract them, do animation layer corrections, polish the curves with the curve editor, and control all your characters from a single powerful UI. But iClone also imports mockup from all the famous mockup solutions out there. Just drag and drop, no retargeting needed. The hand and fit stabilizer is a really cool and powerful feature for when you're dealing with jittery motion. The mirror motion is something that I wish every 3D program had. Animating the hands with the hand puppet tool or with pre-made poses, it's just fantastic. The way iClone handles constraints with the reach tool, it's just so elegant, so powerful, you'll love it. Once the body mockup editing was done, I did a bit of face capture with my iPhone, which is super easy to do and set up with the Live Link face add-on for iClone. Then I simply added the audio and the Aculips tool transcribed and lip synced to the vocal track. A bit of editing to give more emotion and clarity to the mouth and boom, the animation is over. To light and render, because of the reduced time that I had, I naturally decided to take advantage of Unreal Engine's real-time render. Fortunately, sending the entire project, characters, animations and cameras to Unreal was super easy. I was able to send and record the cameras. This process is normally super technical and tedious with other 3D softwares and it would have cost me a tremendous amount of time that I just simply couldn't count on. 
I really love that Realution has put a lot of effort into connecting their pipeline to Unreal as they make this process really easy. Last but not least, one thing that I love about Realution is the extensive tutorial library that they have. Man, it's fast, it's super organized, it solves any and all the doubts and problems you may encounter, and it's free. I mean, these guys really put a lot of effort into their learning platform, which is available on their site and on YouTube, and it's simply incredible, and I love it. So there you have it, friends. Although I did get a bit of help from a couple of great artists, this was a crazy complex project done mostly by me, with tons of characters, tons of animation, lip sync, crowds on an irregular terrain. It had a bunch of things that would make maybe a small to a medium studio shy away from such a thing, especially in such a uh, short amount of time. But the Reolution pipeline made this possible, so thank you Reolution. Now that I've finally crossed the entire bridge of this workflow, I am more than excited to see what projects I will create in the near future. Thank you.